the number one credit card myth that just will not die and why you should not fall for it. In this episode, I'm going to tell you the number one myth that people think about credit cards, credit scores, how to have a great credit score, and so much more. I'm gonna share with you the real secrets, what you really need to know, and I'm gonna tell you why this myth is all wrong. Let's go. Noel. Yeah, she can fix that. If you gotta get it done, no, you need to do it better. Well, she can fix that. Yeah, she can fix that. Investment to get back, trying to get a big step. She can fix that. Let's fix that. So let's get right into it. So many people want a very high credit score because they know that getting a high credit score will open up the door to more funding. You'll pay lower interest rates. You can get better terms when you borrow money. You can walk into stores and when they make that offer to you at the counter, you can say yes or no without thinking, man, I'm just saying no because I know I'm going to get declined. Well, there are so many myths when it comes to having a great credit score, but more importantly, all around credit cards that people just do not know. I'm going to share with you the real secrets and I'm going to tell you how to have a perfect credit score without falling for any traps. If you have bad credit and you actually need some help with it, call my friends at Creative Credit Solutions. There is a link below. I literally had bad credit and I went to Creative Credit Solutions with my friend Justin Mersh who owns the company and he helped me fix my credit score. It is not credit repair. He is a true credit respiration company and he really knows some amazing tricks and real legal and ethical ways to fix your credit score and keep it perfect for a very long time. Use the link below and go to Creative Credit Solutions right now. My friend will give you a free consultation. Just tell them that Noelle Randall sent you. Now let's get into this. There are so many things that you need to know about credit scores. Most people think that credit scores are derived all about how well you pay people. And maybe some of you have heard that it's all about credit utilization. Like for example, if you have a credit card and the limit is $1,000, but your balance, what you owe on it is $800 or $900. Well, that is usually a problem because that's 80 or 90% of the credit utilization. However, to have a great credit score, to have again a score over 740, 750, even in the 800s, you are going to need to know this number one myth that I am going to dispel. When it comes to credit cards, there is definitely a big part is utilization. Obviously though, the biggest part of your credit score that really matters is your payment history. How well do you pay those credit cards? That is going to be the biggest portion of how your personal credit score is derived. The second highest thing is credit card utilization or credit utilization, especially when it comes to credit cards, which are revolving credit, okay? So that means as I pay, I can use it again. That's revolving credit. Then you have accounts like installment. For example, I took out 10,000, I have a set monthly payment of $500 and I'm gonna pay this you know, for X amount of months. That is an installment loan. And when it comes to revolving credit, it can have a really, really big impact on your credit score. So let's get into credit cards, revolving credit, and the big myth that everyone just keeps falling for. Not carrying a credit card balance is the best way to have a credit score. That is the myth that has been around for so many years. You hear the Dave Ramsey and the Susie Ormans telling you that you should take your credit card and you should pay it off every single month. And this is the way to have a really good credit score. In other words, they will tell you, don't carry a balance on your credit card, pay it off every single month in full, and this is how you will get that perfect credit score. Well, I just explained to you that the number one thing that is involved in your credit score is your payment history. So if every time you use your credit card, you pay it off in full and you don't have a payment history, then how could you possibly have the best credit score? Now, paying off your credit card balances is a great way to never pay interest. I get that. You don't want to pay interest to these greedy credit card companies. Well, that's not exactly true because when you have a great credit score, you will often, and trust me, I have a great credit score, you will often get offered 0% credit cards, even if it's for six months or 12 months or 18 months. And I am able to transfer my balance from different credit cards. And that is how I was able to get my credit score over 800. So the fact of paying off the entire credit card balance every single month 
is a way to have decent credit, but it is not the way to have the best credit score. The actual way to have the best credit score would be to keep that credit utilization less than 30%, okay? So again, let's, let's do an example. You have a credit card, it has $1,000 as the limit. You would wanna keep that balance less than $300 and then make monthly payments paying off that $300, even if it's just $100 per month, whereas the minimum payment might be $25 or $15. You wouldn't necessarily want to do that because obviously it would take you a very long time to pay off that $300 and you might end up paying a ton of interest. So paying the minimum balance is definitely not recommended, but paying off the entire balance every single month is a myth that people think that is simply not true. You're never going to end up with these really high credit scores if you never have a balance on the credit card and are able to establish a payment history. So again, the real trick is to keep the utilization less than 30% and then make monthly payments, even if it's just a few, so that each month when you're reporting, when the credit report is reporting the balance, it is going down each month. That is a big trick that people just don't know. So, and I've seen this and I've done it with my, my own credit cards. I used to pay them all off and I would keep a decent credit score, 725, 730, but actually I had the city card and it had a limit of like $28,000. So I made this really big charge on it. I made a charge of like $8,000 and then I made eight payments of $1,000. So every single month the balance was going down and my credit score skyrocketed over 800 because again it had a high limit it was 30 percent and then it was paid down every single month so every month i was picking up 10 and 15 points on my credit report score and that is the true trick in how to actually have a really high credit score not carrying a balance is not the real answer it is a way to have a good credit score it is a good way to avoid paying interest one of the ways to pay avoid paying interest because like i said if you have an 800 credit score they'll keep offering you zero percent and they'll also say hey want to do a balance transfer hey want to do a balance transfer and then you'll say yes i do want to actually transfer my balance to this zero percent interest and so you're still not having to pay interest and your credit score is going up and up and it can stay that way another amazing thing that you need to know is that you can fix a bad credit score Again, if you have a bad personal credit score, there are numerous ways to increase your credit score. You can add authorized users or be added as an authorized user. You can do debt consolidation. There are so many ways to actually increase your credit score. In fact, my friends at Creative Credit Solutions gave me so many different ways to get my credit score from less than 600 to well over 700 in just a matter of months. Again, use the link below, go to Creative Credit Solutions. It's an absolutely free call just tell them that Noel Randall sent you and they can give you a consultation and let you know your best plan because you really can increase your credit score you do not have to stay with a bad credit score for your whole life trust me on this one let me tell you one more amazing thing that you need to know so adding to what I was saying about credit card balances in order to have a really good credit score that best credit scores over 800 you actually need some credit cards that have a very high limit most people don't realize this but it's actually very very hard to have a credit score over 800 without having a credit card that has at least a $10,000 limit. If you have a lot of credit cards that are the limit is $500 and maybe you even have five or six of those with these really like low limits, you're most likely not going to have a credit score over 800. Those credit cards that have those high limits, $10,000, $15,000, $30,000 limits is how you will get a really high credit score. And the only way to get a really high credit limit, like I said, is to actually use the credit card and have a balance. In many cases, if you get a credit card and they give you this really high limit, $25,000, $30,000, and you never use the credit card, well, guess what? They're gonna close the account on you. And when they close the account on you, 
In many cases, that is going to lower your credit score. So in actually, in order to play the credit card game and get a really high credit score where people are giving you these 0% interest and you're able to apply and get approved for almost anything, you want to have a credit card with a really high limit. So the trick is you have to use the credit card. You can't not use it and expect to get a really high limit. If you have a high credit limit and you never get anywhere near the limit or you never use the credit card at all, if you have this $30,000 credit card and you only charge $600 on it, well, guess what? They may even lower that credit limit because you've never come close to using it. It is such a trick. I know so many people hate this and it sounds awful, but it is true and it has literally happened to me. I had a credit card with like a $20,000 limit. I never used it. And when the credit card expired, they said, we're not sending you another one. You didn't use it. And I was like, oh my gosh, I know this. And I still forgot to use that credit card. You have to use the credit cards if you want to have a good credit score. So use the credit cards carry a balance sometimes in order to keep your credit cards coming, get new offers and have very high credit limits. As I mentioned before, my friends at Creative Credit Solutions are amazing at helping people fix their personal credit. If you have a bad personal credit score and you want to change that, use this free link. It's right below, creativecreditsolutions.net. My friends at Creative Credit Solutions have helped so many people. And again, this is an absolutely free consultation to help you. They can give you the plan that will get you to that next level. Many people have been able to change their credit scores in a matter of weeks. It's not even taking months or years. It really depends on your situation, but again, it's absolutely free for you to find out. So use the link below, tell them that Noelle Randall sent you and utilize this free call right now, because I just want to make sure that you have all of the resources, all of the tools and all of the knowledge that you need to be successful. This is Noelle to your success.